Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream playing some more scrap mechanic today. Yes, yes, Cosmonaut, thank you for the bananas and Phil and Mumbles and Traz and J4500. <laughs> Trying to read these names while chat is moving around like crazy. <clears throat> so yeah, everyone, welcome to the stream. Pre-stream song was uh, Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac. 1996, going back to when I was a wee kid. <laughs> I remember that song very vividly. Yeah, it must have been like a, a fair few years ago, but like five years ago I heard that song and it was like, wow, I haven't heard that song in a decade and probably more than a decade. I absolutely love it. Such a cool song. <laughs> and I was reminded of it recently, so I thought, yep, yeah, that's going on the pre stream playlist. And there you go, another cool song. Right, let's go into our base world, and let's continue. <laughs> Hypno says, I feel old now. I know, I know you feel. Every every day feels like a year. <laughs> ah, got a cup of tea. Negative Panda says, Mark Morrison, he thought he was right gangster in Leicester. Didn't he get nicked for carrying a gun? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's possible we could have. It could have been someone else. I'm not one to speculate. I uh, don't really know much about the bloke other than that song, really. Right, is it me or is the game just a touch laggy? Yeah, I'm getting some frame drops. Right, okay, now the frames come back. Yep, okay, just had a, a little bit of a shakiness going on there. Um, we're going to start off, by the way, not with the monorail stuff. We need to tidy up some of this base, that's for sure. I wanted to do some... Uh... Hey, I tell you what, I'm feeling some frames drop again. What is that? Hey, X, I tweeted you an idea. Have you seen it? It's to make the car transformable into a car so you can get on and off the tracks. Uh, Galti, I haven't seen it. I was thinking about this design and wondering why we didn't put the suspension on the top and keep the, the frame of this a little bit smaller. So one of the things I might do is mess around with the design a bit more. That way it can be lower to the ground, it'll be easier to work with. Um, but what I want to do is actually build something for a video that we're going to do tomorrow. So we're going to start off with expanding the base, doing a few bits and bobs, and later on we'll come back to that project. So I just wanted to make this wall a tiny bit bigger. Now this bit right here probably needs to be a little bit smaller because we're going to put a door over there so this thing will probably get detached um, I'll put some railings in we won't worry about that right now we'll make this thing smaller overall my next peg says what are we doing today hopefully I just explained I know there's a little bit of uh, latency right so over here we want to install a door and I think this door is going to have to come back a little bit as well and we're going to build the door alongside here. I've got to think very carefully about how I go about doing this. Um, yes, think very, very carefully. Because this thing's going to be like, do we want it to be the same floor? Uh, floor? <laughs> the same height as the floor? I don't think so. I think having a bit of height in buildings is good. So let's see with what we've got in terms of steps. Um, something like that would be good. Right, and I don't like the way that's facing. Also, uh, a Hypno, if you're still watching, do you have any plans to play this game? Because it's fun. And uh, I'm kind of curious. A lot of us hermits want to play multiplayer. At the moment, multiplayer is very, very basic. You see, this game, I'm worried, again, like many games, the early access thing, it's going to be fun for a while. Um, and then you're going to get perhaps a little bit bored of it once you've sussed out the game a bit more. Yet there's all this potential for depth, and that depth will come later on over time, but by then you might be a bit bored of it, you know. Um, just one of the things I'm a little bit worried about, I guess, with this one. Right, now that material underneath that, you're probably not going to notice it. Probably could have chosen something else, but that'll do just fine. So we're going to have a little step up here. By the way, this is free and free, so that actually works out really well for what we want to do. Uh, Jan wants to know what resolution we're playing on. I'm playing on 1080p. The original video I'd done was actually 720p because the game was like rendering the game at 720 but displaying it in 1080. I don't know. I have upscaling on my computer. It causes a lot of issues. 
Okay, um, so that's what it will look like on the opposite side, right? Not bad. I don't think it's as big as I want this door to be. And I'm glad I thought about that, actually, because let's see what this would look like if it were bigger. It's the kind of door that actually works really well for something small. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we should always check it out. Star Wars door would be so cool, says the uh, Pajar, is it? I plan on building one of those as well, actually. Um, we could put the Star Wars door here. We're going to put a different type of door because I want to do a uh, tutorial on it tomorrow. <coughs> Let's rotate that around. I've got a bit of a problem in my throat at the moment, actually. I can't seem to clear it. Um, and yesterday I really talked to myself silly. I don't think that's going to look quite as cool. At the same time, do you know what? I'm not going to fuss it. I think it will look alright either way. But personally, I think this particular door design suits a smaller one. We could save we could save this bit here for the Star Wars door that goes up, up and down, which we'll build. Um, and then this other type of door, the Star Trek one. You know, the only place I can see to put it at the moment, based on what we've built, is probably right here. <laughs> uh, so maybe, maybe, okay, maybe we will go smaller with it. Sorry to um and ah, but that's what I do. Got to make up my mind. So lots of you are coming in asking what I'm doing. We're uh, expanding the base to build a little door here. And then we're going to work on the monorail stuff later on. Okay, so for now we just need that there. And that'll do just fine. Definitely getting some frame issues. Do you know what? I, I'm constantly getting little drops in frames. I think we need to remove this thing. And now when I come over here, it's a little bit better actually. Which is interesting. Let's get rid of all of this. I'm not sure what causes these frame drops. That's another thing. The game isn't optimised well yet, which is also a little bit of a concern. I'm a bit worried that at some point this world might become unplayable, you know? Are you playing on a PC or a laptop? Says, uh, says mine. Mine XPG. We're playing on a PC. I don't own a laptop. Bam. There we go. Take that away. Oh, that one's managed to balance itself. Right. So now we don't have, like, you know, another vehicle floating around. It should help with the frames. That's my theory. Probably not. Probably not turn out to be true at all, will it? <laughs> Potato Viking says uh, this game looks pretty dope. Ash Bradley says, what happened on Hermitcraft? Aha! You're probably referring to the tweet I sent out earlier. I cannot tell you, unfortunately. I cannot tell you. But you'll find out soon. Right. What material do we want to build this door out of? Because iron or metal like we're using at the moment is kind of good. Uh, let's go with some barrier block. I've hardly used any of that in here, have I? I don't see hardly any barrier blocks. So this door is uh, a bit of a barrier door. Right, we'll put that down as a marker for now. So what we're actually going to build is one of these over here. The place we're going to fit it in is also somewhere around here. Bam, let's fill that up. Mousy Mars in chat, hello. Also, assume as dad is here. Hi, buddy. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Albie and the Great says, hey, X, just thinking maybe it'd be cool to build a buggy that can handle most of the terrain. You could also build a garage for it, maybe. Um, and we haven't got a car for getting around yet. We'll probably need one when we build more tracks and they go all over the place. Uh, as of right now, we've got two doors are next on our list. So this is what I want to build. And I want it to move out just by three blocks. So one, two, three, and then that. Now, didn't we sort of suss out a little bit over here? In fact, what happened over here? This doesn't look correct in the slightest, does it? <laughs> that looks horribly wrong. Why is that so messed up? <laughs> okay, let's let's swap the rotation of these ones and see if we can get it to flip over. Little bit odd, wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, well, oh, maybe I missed one. Is that how it was before? I'm not sure we can fix this. Right. 
Interesting. So I had to swap these to fix it. How did they come undone? Oh, bizarre. <laughs> How is that now different again? Doesn't make much sense, does it? And now it doesn't want to move. That is so weird. How has that gotten completely messed up? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would it do that? And now these things... It's like it's freaking out because this is in the ground. Let's, uh... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, has that fixed it? No, that just... What? Did it throw one of its... No, it flipped those things out of the ground or something happened there. Okay, that's really bizarre. <laughs> Let's start by turning these ones back. Right, okay, now it bows. So, we want those to go the other way. And then it should be okay. Right, they also need to go the other way. So everything needed reversing. Cool. Right, we've we fixed it by putting it back to exactly how it was in the beginning, but for some reason that wasn't good enough. Uh, I think next time we're over here we'll finish fixing this because we need to add those little things at the at the back. So so bizarre. <laughs> that was an interesting distraction. Nozit says, Hey Asuma, hey buddy, welcome back to the stream. Orion says you broke the game. Yes. This game will be easy to break though because it's you know early access. Things are still being in development. Right, so that's going to be our door arm, and then we're going to have one, two, and three. So all we really need to do is stretch the door arm out in this direction, and then put ugh, not like that. Put our uh, one, two, and it's the next block over. So let's just extend that platform. And we know where we're building, right. So, it's definitely going to be a case of trial and error. When the door is shut, it's going to come out to here. So, one, two, and three. So, this would be where it's connected, I think, at its stationary position. But we'll put it one back, because we're experimenting here. Um, and I'm building it in the wrong way. We'll leave that there. Right, so it's going to be in line. So we need to put this thing over here. Yep, that looks correct so far. And we'll go up a block. Have a thing there. Then down a block. So we don't actually need this. We'll put this in second. Right, and uh, bring this down thing there, and then that can go off to the side, right? Come on! It's a little bit awkward placing stuff sometimes. Yep, and then it falls apart. Right, so we need a controller and uh, a button somewhere. We're also probably going to make a, um, a sensor and like a an AND gate like we did before, so we can have this activated from either side. So what I normally do is I normally have a little controller room somewhere. So maybe somewhere um, over on this side we'll put a little Star Wars door hidden. And then that way when you walk through over to this area you can find what I'm building right here, I think. Another thing to consider is that there's going to be a wall right here. Yeah, yeah there is. Hmm. Probably just basically going to end up rewiring it rather than try and figure out exactly where it needs to go. Okay, so let's forget about that. Let's do a one, two, and three. Now we're going to push towards where the door is. So what I should have done is actually move this way further back because it's not about being close or being the right distance. The distance is in this bit here, which I think is only going to ever push out one and two. Which kind of gives us another problem if this is going to be a free wide door. Ah, maybe it isn't the biggest deal to do to do one that goes four. Let's bring it back further and do one that goes four. Sussing it out as we go. Very slow, I know. That's what it's been like recently. Okay, so that will literally 
when that's extended, that's literally three, no, two blocks, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so it's going to push out by four. Oh, I see what I've done wrong there. Yeah, I've got to start from the bearing down. Now that's going to be our door. Okay. FYI, X hold shift and drag when controller, when in controller to set the degrees freely. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's have a look at that, that sounds interesting. I was about to ask why that didn't mess up, but it's because it's rested on that ledge. So, we can hold shift. Oh wow, look at that. Didn't even know. Now what happens if we not holding shift? Huh. That's really cool. Thanks for sharing that. I had no idea. Well, that's awesome. That allows you to do things a bit more uh, precise, I guess. Okay, so how do we configure 90, 180, 90? Uh, wait, wrong bit. It's a bit over here. 180 and 90 again. Uh, we need a button to activate it. Probably be temporary. Yeah, kind of expected that to happen, didn't we? Usually the case. It doesn't like that at all. Let's remove some of the blocks on this thing. Because it's going to be a real pain. <laughs> it's like the opposite. It's the complete opposite way it's supposed to go. Right. <laughs> Nice, there we go. Okay, so now let's build our door. This is the closed position that we'll keep it in. We could have started off building it like that, but we've done it the other way. And it only needs to come out that far, and then it's only got to be the height of the door. Right, and then the sensor, you know, bam. So it's going to come back by one block. Now, how you get it to not do that, I'm not sure, because... Then you're messing around with all sorts of stuff going on over here. But I'm, I'm happy with that, actually. That'll be fine. Even though there's a little gap on the side, I'm cool with that. We could even leave in our little uh, blocky thing right here as well. As you walk up to the door. But I think we'll, we'll leave that alone. Won't mess with that. Okay, so that's one side of it. Bam, that pops out. Bam, it comes back again. I think I want it to be uh, two blocks taller. Oh, wow. Getting some... Crazy sprint action going on around here. Two blocks taller as well. Like that. And then we'll put our, our height, our top of the door over here. Cool. And one on that side. And let's put the frame of the door in as well. I'll actually come out by two there. That makes sense. That's why it looks so awkward. And I did it again. Weird. All right, so you're getting a, starting to see a bit of how the door's going to work. Can't you just move the whole thing? Says uh, Vickis One Two Three. Well, no, because the Star Trek door opens in the middle, so that's the way we're going to do it. Plus, it'll be cool like that. I mean, if I was doing the whole thing, you could say, "Can't you just split it down the middle?" <laughs> Wolfie Shane says, hello, this is my first stream. Hello, and welcome to the stream. Assassin Hood says, do you have any ideas for survival base in the desert on a survival world? Because I have got inspiration from your base on a Hermitcraft server, and I don't know really what to do at my base. Make a list. Go look at the Minecraft wiki. Look at things in the game. Think about stuff you could do with them, like I could make a farm for this or that. Make a list. Work through the list. That's how I would approach it. Alright, so we're going to count and do the same thing that we've done over here. Let's put in our, our platform. That'll do just fine. Uh, we need to count the distance. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From that block. So, there'd be one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's our base. Right, except we're out by one block. That's cool. Okay, that would appear to be the same height. 
And now it's going to be a little bit easier because we're just building what we did before. So that's it. Okay, then that would be the door, right? Okay, let's attach this thing. Oh, we can control it all with the same controller as well. Of course we can. And then we can configure it in here. Hey, so I've been watching the recaps of this stream on your second channel. Nice to finally make one. Well, wel welcome, Monster Rag. Thanks for watching the videos on the other channel as well. The second channel, if any of you watching ever want to uh, catch up on the streams, that's the place to go. There's also UHC and uh, Hammerfall running around the clock on there. Well, around the clock, you know, every day there's uh, a video of sorts. Oh, wow, it was just the one. Right, okay, so now we extend this over to that point and give it a little test run. Ha! Had a feeling that might happen. That means, I think... Actually, I don't know what that means. <laughs> wow! We, I, I never, never get, like, I never get it first time, do I? I never just get a good guess. It's never like, well done, that was the correct guess. It's always the, no, nope, horrible, silly, painful way. Right, let's flip that. Have I... Is it me or is that like... It's turned itself around. I'm just going to point that out. It has turned itself around. <laughs> we had this facing the other direction, I'm sure of it. How that's happened, I'm not sure, but there you go. Alright, so now now you're going to behave properly, I see. Okay. Um, so, next bit's real easy. Like that. Bam. Okay. And we can get through to this area, which is going to be my office, by the way. I feel like I'm going to build an office. That is really cool. <laughs> when we get this thing hooked up, I'm just going to be forever walking through it over and over again. Right, uh, next thing to do is to set up our sensors. We'll have one on this side, one on the other. Whoa! Just got pushed away. Uh, we need to attach it to the bottom, I guess, and have it... Point towards us. Bam. I like the way you can see the light on the closer side. Put it on the bottom. That was actually in the correct spot immediately. And there it was again. Bam. Cool. Alright. Uh, we don't need to put a block behind it because it doesn't let any light through or anything like that. Or there's not a, a physical gap of sorts. Right, so when we go through from this area into that one, I don't want it to um, to then go down any steps. This is just going to be like an area here. So we'll we'll deal with that when we get to it. Okay. Um, so then, what are we going to do? We're going to hook up this thing to a little contraption. I've got to rebuild it again. Do you know what? We need copy and paste schematics in this. Make our lives so much easier. Yes, it would. X, you should have a sensor one away from the door so you don't have to face plant to open the door. Uh, coded void, you've given me an idea there. You see, that's both like good and bad. If we, if we just hook up two sensors, then we can have best of both then, because if we are too far away, um, it won't be quite the same, will it? Like it might try and shut a little bit as you walk through. So what we'll do then... Actually, let's put it one block higher. At this height. We'll have a second one. And we'll put a second one on this side as well. So it's going to be slightly different from what we've done before. Let's correct the first time. I get it wrong. Every time. There we go. Right. So we're going to need... Um, down here somewhere... We'll build the little sensor thing. Actually, I'm going to build it all the way over here because there's going to be a little bit of space that never gets used back here and it's behind the contraption. Alright, so we have our uh, our block. There's going to be one, two, three, four. And then that. That's in the incorrect spot. Okay, and we will have... Four little blocks like this. 
Cool, I don't have a pivot selected. So we're basically building the uh, gate we built before and I showed that multiple input connector. Except we'll just wire it up twice over. So it'll be a little bit smoother. Which actually is a cool thing to demonstrate as well. Alright, now let's attach these things. We need a controller for two. Now wait a minute, have I jumped the gun? Um... I think I've jumped the gun. It's a sensor for one controller, right? No, we just need four controllers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. I'm trying to remember how we did this. <laughs> so we'll put in the four like that. <clears throat> oh, I'm having trouble with my throat today. Okay, then it's one for each of these and one for each sensor. That's fine. And then that one's the one that controls the doors. So uh, we need to get rid of that. And wire that up to this. But also to this one as well. Uh, which is... Oh, it's the same box. Yes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Nick says, how's it going with the spider car? Not had the motivation to work on that anymore. I, I, I look at it and I think, do you know what? I don't think that's actually really going to work. <laughs> so, I wouldn't be surprised if we just knock that one on the head. Okay, I thought it was 60. Maybe it's 75 and 90. There you go, it's 60 and 70. Oh, we could probably use the shift thing that we've learned about to make this extremely accurate. Um, let's do that. Let's go 61. I know this is going to be boring, but once we learn the number, that's 61. 62. Do you know what sometimes works better is to jump around a little bit? So let's go up to 70. Right, 70 is a bit too much. Let's go down to 65 or 66. There you go. So now we go up to 67. Bam, 66, 67 appears to be it. Right, if that actually makes it faster or not, I'm not sure, because this might take the same amount of time to move the one degree. Uh, but there you go. So now we hook that up to this, and that can open the door. Or we'll close it. Oh, wait a minute. We need to invert it. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Um, did we just create a new need for ourselves? I think we did. We need an inverter on this. Oh no, uh, well, if we were to block one of these and one lifted, it wouldn't work. So we need to invert our output. Okay, excellent. We've got a new challenge on our hands. How does that sound? How does that... Some of you are watching and like, you need to what? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it again for those of you that are maybe not quite as technically inclined. Although... I wouldn't say technical, it's like, it's on the basic scale of things, but once you understand it, it's pretty simple. Okay, so basically this contraption, the way it's wired up, uh, it's going to output in the wrong order that what we want it to do. We want it to, like, let's say it's in the off state at the moment, because the door, actually no, the off state would be, off state would be closed for me, so right now the door is open. Um, and when it's off, it's like this. We want it to be the opposite way around. And we can't do that because of the nature of how this works. Oh, look at that. I got some of these wrong. Uh, but we can fix it immediately by like that, right? That didn't seem to fix it. Ha. Huh. Uh, let's go minus 66 then. Which I could have got to holding down the same thing. Wait, what? Why Why is it... St oh, look at that. There's blocks in its way. Wait, is there? There is here. That might have been a mistake on my half. But that bit is... Wait, what? Oh, that's why this one didn't turn. No, that doesn't make any sense. I think what I'm going to do is disconnect them first. And then I'm going to connect it. And I'm going to flip it. And then we're going to send it up in this direction. And it goes to the correct side. Okay, we've learned how to fix it. 
Right, I'll come back to the whole thing in a second and uh <laughs> Kajahil says go 67 and minus 1. Aha, okay, so that won't work because this is why we need an inverter. Because if this one is 67, right, it's turning, the, the sensor's detecting it. So when it lifts up, the other ones are still setting the sensor off. That's why that doesn't work. So hopefully you understood that. How would you remember, what? Why did it snap back? Wait, now it... Whatever. <laughs> now it now it catches up. The game's like, oh no, I'm not supposed to remember that. Okay. Apparently didn't like that. Is that actually attached to anything? Let's try that again. That's really odd. <laughs> this one's just ignoring the rules. How about that? Uh, it's the one on the far side. Maybe, maybe walking through it will help it a little bit. Oh my god! Some of you saying to uh, invert the door position, not the signal. I guess you could, but wouldn't there be a reason to build a signal inverter at a later date? I think it'd be much more interesting to do it that way. Yeah, okay, so everyone is saying Jack's Light, uh, Jack's Light even is saying, everyone is saying to invert the door. Yeah, you're probably right we can do that, because we can change the state of this and reverse it. But maybe sometimes in the game you'd need a signal inverter, so why don't we figure out how to do that, since there is an opportunity to do so. Right, this thing seems to have caught up with itself now. Um, right, so our output is this sensor. And I guess an inversion is actually going to be extremely simple. That sensor should point into uh, a bearing. We'll put this bearing below the door. This bearing is going to point out to the left. And we're going to have a sensor here and a block behind it. Uh, we also need a controller there. Okay, so actually that's probably not the best place to put the controller. Let's put the controller on this side. And let's have it facing up like the other ones. Pmaker OT says building an inverter is really simple. Yeah, I'm learning that. <laughs> um, I didn't think it would be super simple, but it appears to be really simple. Well, super simple. It is simple, but it's good to do it so we know how it's done. Why are you not disconnecting? Do I have to grab it from that end? No, I have to drag it all the way over there. Okay. So now it's going to be about turning it off. And we use this to invert. That thing controls that. Uh, let's see. 66 and 7, wasn't it? Okay. And then you need to go plus 1 when you're activated. Alright, so closed. Did I hook it up? Oh, is that not enough when it's on the ground? Maybe it's not the same. Ah, interesting. Okay. Let's mess around with that then. 67 isn't isn't the one when it's on the side like that. Oh, there you go. Is, is it me or is it being a little bit laggy? It seems to be catching up slow. I think it's clipping it actually. I think it's clipping the sensor. It's too close to the sensor. Okay, let's remove it. Can we put the sensor there? Yeah, we can. Bam, let's try again. So, in theory, it should be 66 and 67. Turns extremely slow. Huh. Uh, maybe it's reversed by seven, by one. Are we having trouble with moving this thing, or am I imagining things?
Right, it's moving very, very slow. Maybe it was a numbers thing. There you go. Apparently it's 68 and 1 when it's on the floor. Okay, so now we walk up to it. Yeah, we've got double delay now, which means you can't go straight straight through. Got to wait for the double delay. That's how you make an inverter. That's not very exciting, is it? <laughs> uh, I think we'll scrap the inverter then. Um, let's get rid of all of this. Oh, let's also bring back those uh, bricks. So they can go in that little spot. Bam. Alright, so we just need to in invert everything else. That goes over there. The door is open by default. Controller for the door. Instead of 90, we go reverse 90, reverse 180. Actually, that, that might not be the best way to do it. Actually, I've got a feeling that's not the way to do it. Why do I get that feeling? <laughs> Yeah, uh I need to think this through a little bit more. So by default, okay, yeah, by default it's in the position we built it. So we need to say actually you need to go into that position that we're telling you to go in currently. So then when we uh want to go back to the default position it will have to do the opposite of what it's already done and I think that's correct yay yay half works <laughs> just set up the other half there we go a little bit of trial and error and we get there uh, free free says don't change the door position change the sensors block position uh, no, we run into the same problem. Right, you picture the signal flow because what we're doing with our circuit over there is detecting when one goes in front of the sensor. If we do it the other way around, uh, we we can't detect when one leaves the sensor because the sensor is being is detecting all four at once. That's why it doesn't work that way around. Uh, let's bring this out. One eighty. This one goes ninety. That one goes reverse ninety, and we're done. We're almost done, apparently. That's a bit odd, isn't it? I can understand that it needs a few more blocks there, but how did it get so out of shape? Huh. Um, did I, like, just get one thing a tiny... Oh, there you go. Just managed to get one thing a tiny bit wrong. That's all it takes. That's all it takes, isn't it? Bam. So welcome to my office. Through we go. I'm not sure that doing this whole thing here with one is the fastest way. Now I reckon if we were to get them to flip all the way down rather than one little uh, thing, they would be a lot better. Wait, does that even make sense? So 90, 90 is going to be all the way down. But we've already done 66. So if we go 34. Uh, wait, 24? Yeah, let's go to 24. I think that may technically be faster. I still haven't sussed out how they do this. It seemed to be a tiny bit faster. Okay, there was de definitely felt delay that time. Not as much. Yeah, I definitely think that's faster then. Because the entire duration of this like thing that it's doing is uh, is going to be defined by the amount of time, not by the amount of uh, distance it turns. So if we turn a bigger distance, we move quicker in that amount of time. Therefore, it makes it faster. So that's good to know. Hopefully you're learning things. Ah. 
You can make the delay shorter if you make longer arms that move in front of the sensor. Possible. Um, longer arms. Actually, no. If we had a bigger degree of turn, that would be the defining factor. So, actually, maybe it wouldn't. No, yes, yes, it would. Okay, so, let me explain. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a little very simple to understand visual representation here. There's our pivot. There's our sensor. Let's get it to face forward. So, what we're doing is we're sort of being just above it and dropping down in front of it. Now, whatever distance we move, it takes the same amount of time. So, if we are just above it and we go all the way down to the like the lowest bit that it can detect us, that's the furthest distance we can move across it. And that will make the uh, fastest activation of the sensor. So, it's not really about swinging it all the way. Oh, ghost key. Um swinging it all the way far just as far as you can so from the point above all the way to the very bottom point it can detect it would be the fastest way to do that I think uh, shell gratitude said would you be uh, two set to more than 24 wouldn't it go faster and hit the ground instead of stopping at 90 um, you're you're right in saying that going below 24 is good but I don't know how that's going to work when it hits the ground. We could effectively set it to something higher and it moves faster, but I don't know because, you know, that's like that's something that needs to be tested. But you could well and truly be right there. It sounds like you might be right. Um, yeah, so, right, let's get this new area of the base going now. We've built our Star Wars door. I want to do something funky over here. Yeah, I want to have... I want to have a, like a gap here between these two bits. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Love the way it opens automatically. We need like a little robot. We need to create like a robot character at some point that like, gives you a cup of tea when you walk past him. There's this tea in this game, isn't there? Pretty sure there's tea in it. Come on. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> if you click wrong, then it all messes up. Ah, oh, I can't quite get it. Let's just, just use the lift. Bam. Take me up there. There we go. Should have done that the first time. Right, so we're going to have that ugh, ugh, falling down. Over on this side, we will drag it across from the same height. Okay. Right, and then there's a little gap. Of course there's a little gap. We want to fill in the gap because it looks silly. Ugh. There we go. Right, and now I want to put some pipes or something through there. I think that could look really cool. Make a clock, says it's uh, Jonas Gamer. That would be a really good spot for a clock above the like boss's office, wouldn't it? There's no clocks that we can chuck down. Uh, but we could put a sign, a stop sign, or danger, caution, automated facilities. I like these signs. Do not enter. Beware of farm bots, falling objects, and a glass container. Is there no cup of tea here? Oh, I don't think there is. That sort of looked like a cup of tea at first. A quick glance, a boxy square of tea. Uh, we could put a ventilation shaft up there. That would probably be quite fitting, actually. How big is this thing? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, it's the whole thing. That's a bit too big in my opinion. No thanks. Now some of you are saying no make a clock. Right, uh, so a very slow... Yeah, like you can make the bearing spin around. But it needs to be a lot bigger I think. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yes, we could make a clock. It would be extremely simple. But you want to detail the clock as well. Otherwise I think it's going to look silly. Alright, maybe we should mess around with some pipes then. Uh, or some, some of these cables, or those, I don't know. We'll probably put those inside, uh, or a fuse box. Air conditioner, that might be the sort of thing we want up there. Or not. Actually, I think we'll just go... can't make up my mind, can I? Let's leave the gap. I'll be here all day looking at the gap, going, what can we do with that? Um, let's start building the floor of this base. Again, probably want to look at what materials are available here, but this opening bit 
where we have um, sensors, it's going to be all metal. Okay, let's drag up and over. Bam, and then down and across. Cool. Right, so that's going to be the little thing. I'll go into this room. Got to be careful where the arm is as well. Asuma, what are you drinking, says Brian. I'm drinking uh, a good old cup of tea, which is a bit mediocre on the warmth at the moment. Riffrick says, damn, you could make... Uh, that would make the building so much nicer. What What would? What's the that? Remember, there's delay in stream. So whatever it is the that you're referring to, I no longer know about. Right, let's have a look at these tube boxes. They're, uh, they're a pretty cool size. Oh, maybe we could have them go across the room, like at the tops. Like they're, they're like power cables running through our little temporary office shack thing. <laughs> uh, let's try that, let's try that. Um, so they could start at this height. In fact, I want to bring out the wall just one more block so it doesn't mess with that over there. So that's the wall of our room. And I feel like I feel like it needs to be a fair bit different from the other rooms that we've done. We've been messing around with these blocks. I mean, we could put grids on the side. We could put net fences, metal supports, something with a little bit of depth. They might look good with those tubes. Um, what else is a block here we could chuck into the wall? Those ones, I reckon, but we've already done that a little bit somewhere else. Uh, and yeah, not too many options yet. They could put a ton of stuff in there. Right, how does that look for a wall? That's going directly into the space I said we didn't want to use. Yeah, that sort of looks alright-ish. Maybe they should start on the corner. Let's drag up. Okay, if we did that, we're sort of setting a little bit of a height for the room. Which is cool, because that lines up with that sort of. Yeah, that looks all right. Zen Zen says, "Do you like Star Wars?" I do. I do like Star Wars. Gonna go see the movie on the weekend. Finally figured out the uh, time to do it. Right. So then we're gonna have these cables going across the top of our room, and they should definitely come out a little bit. This is where we're gonna need. Ugh, need to jump around. Ugh. Move up like this. Okay. Uh, our cables are gonna go and pop out a little bit. Can we do that easily? Yes, that looks like they're popping out, but the thing's the wrong the way wrong way around. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Ugh, come on, it's so tricky. Okay, so that's gonna be like part of the roof in a way. Let's bring this all the way across here. And let's look at what else there is. Is there one? Look, there's some that go around the corner, so we can put in a curve. Uh, except, <laughs> the, the curve bit will be on the opposite side, won't it? Sort of. Unless it were to like curve into a wall, like a flat head of the wall. Or we can make it come down a little bit, so you can see that curve. Bam. can come down to this level, and then it can go across. Right, I'm liking this because I wanted to build like a raised up bit where the office is and that could be behind all of there. That could be its like natural divider. Okay, then we don't want it to go around the entire room, so over on this side it's just going to literally pop down um, on here. A uh, person in chat said, what are you making? Epic Gamers says, what are you making? We're, uh, we're making an office. An office space. Uh, I want to use some concrete actually here. I feel like concrete's the material to fill in the gaps. Actually, concrete looks like quite nice, doesn't it? It looks quite nice against these materials. Let's uh, let's do away with a little bit of this then. Okay, and swap it over for concrete. Yeah, I think concrete's going to mix a lot nicer up on the ceiling. Uh, maybe on the floor as well, though we might be overdoing it. Let's keep the metal floor. Let's have the, uh, the ceiling like it is. 
and we'll wrap that over there then we'll have a bit of concrete in the corner and we'll let that pop out a bit we could also no that's actually the same bit okay there we go then the concrete can come around the side actually I'm gonna say it now I feel like this room should be bigger so let's just make it a touch more Fulk says, it seems X has increased massively in popularity as the stream has attracted 750 viewers. Uh, Fulk, so I find it depends on what you stream. When I do Hermitcraft, which is what I'm doing tomorrow morning, uh, we usually get about 1,000. So it depends on the game. But Scrap Mechanic appears to be something of interest to everyone at the moment. <laughs> and rightly so. It's a very interesting game. Alright, we're not going to worry about what's underneath there too much. Uh, but this is definitely going in the right direction, isn't it? So let's let's slab out our massive concrete wall because that's all there would technically be there, right? Oh, have I put that at the wrong... Oh, I've put it at the wrong height. Of course I have. Also, isn't that over the arm of our little door? No, it's not, but let's move that over by one. And there's going to be no floor there. Uh, by the way, this ma as I said it, I realised, wait a minute... We're also going to put more of these things in, right? So let's definitely do that and not forget about it. Bam and bam. More bams over here. Oh, look, they go right in the middle. That's cool. That makes it actually very convenient to place. Oh, no, 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 no. So how does this look for our crazy office, office space? I do like building in this game. It's fun. Oh, no, wrong material. Wrong material. X, is there something like a world save you can put online so people can play in your world? Uh, Red Turtles, I don't like doing that. I'm not a fan of uh, like sharing the worlds I play in. And I don't know. I haven't really looked into it with Scrap Mechanic. Um, I'm probably not going to bother to. See, I've discussed it before. Personally, I just find like if you share the world you're playing with, it, it's less fun to play in if other people are playing there as well. I like that this is my little world and this is the things that I've created. So... Uh, that's just kind of how I feel, really. Um, yeah. What are you building, says Bacon Boss? We've built the contraption for the stream, which is the Star Wars door. That's it right there. And now we're working on the room up here. Hey, do you know what could go up the top here? These things, because they kind of fit the theme of the room, right? Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. And then on that side, it's going to have to clip into the wall, which could end up looking pretty good. So let's try and give it a little bit of space. Bam, it can fit right there. We can reattach that metal. And although it's odd, I actually like that it is odd. Just takes out... Um... <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, wait a minute, we can make it centred. After I said it's alright that it's odd. Yeah, we can actually make that centred and I think that would be a little bit more pleasing. Okay, let's center it. Hey, rotate. Rotate on my command. Rotate. There we go. Oh no, can we not send? Wait, what? Maybe I put that one. We can definitely be able to center this. There we go, that's centered, isn't it? Right, I think this little line here threw me off. And I think the concrete is too far forward. Yikes, okay. So sorry for all of the uh, perfectionism here with the building, but I love doing this, like making sure we get it right. Relga says, I did my first vehicle in Scrap Mechanic. Yay! Awesome, well done! I am yet to build a car in this one. Something we should do. Okay. Now that looks cool, don't you think? So you're going to go into the room with all the pipes everywhere, and then you should see loads of them as soon as you get in there. Alright, this is looking good. Let's get more of this floor in. Oh, they're going to leave a gap. Oh, I see. Actually, let's just... Uh, just build from it like that. Cool. Epic Games says, Thanks for replying. No problem at all, buddy. Hope you have a good time watching today's stream. I'm feeling a little bit quieter today, just... Talked to myself silly yesterday, basically. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right. Um, Aero the assassin says I'm watching Hypno's video. That's cool. How are you watching Hypno's video and this live stream? I did actually ask him a question earlier. I'm not sure if he replied. I don't think he did. Uh, he might have left by that point. Uh, is Hypno's v new video scrap mechanic? Is what I want to ask. I saw Monkey Farm started playing it today, which I thought was interesting. Monkey Farm had uh, early access, like the rest of us, but I guess I know he's probably busy or something. Okay. Um, right. We'll actually leave a little, a little like space under here. I was just thinking, how do we get rid of this space? Then I thought, hey, that space could be good. Uh, it can make the room look a little bit more interesting. Aha, uh -huh, like that. Yeah, so now there's just a little nook under there. That's pretty cool. Um, so somewhere here, we're going to have our little entrance. And I want this room to actually be fairly big. So there'll be more pipes and stuff on the opposite side. What we'll do with this space, though, is build a little staircase up. And then that's where we'll probably... Uh, like suss out most of this room for today. When it comes to the roof, um, I'm waiting for lighting and news on that because shadows just make everything dark inside, so I'm not too keen to build a roof yet. Mr. Wiki says, is it me or does the frame rate feel very slow? The frame rate should be 30 frames a second. We have had a few drops, but I've been letting um, you all know when I when I feel them so you can you can sort of figure it out. And see it right. I have yet to combine those two together, so maybe we'll do that, and maybe we'll chuck in a few of those as well. Um, so I feel like these would find themselves sort of there. Yeah, that seems about right. And maybe that could be where the office floor starts. But if we go with that for now. Then we're going to put these banisters on them. There we go. That looks pretty cool, actually. But to be fair, it does come out a fair way. But it'll be alright. And then this can go in the middle. No, wrong way around. Why not 60 FPS, says Rick. Uh, I was under the impression Twitch doesn't support 60 FPS. Now that I know that it does, my answer will be... Uh... <laughs> But I don't have an answer. I I could I could set it basically if I put it on 60 FPS, you are going to get half the stream quality, but it'll be slightly smoother. So it doesn't really like add up in my opinion to do that. I reckon we should just stick with uh, 30 FPS. Seems to be all good. Oh, oh, almost. <laughs> Pretty good building technique going on there. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is just I figured, hey, fill in all the gaps. And it will probably look decent. You can sort of see through the floor of this a little bit. Alright, now we need to get that to go the right way. Oh, that was it, I think. There you go. And then up to... Oh, we can't quite do that one. It needs to remember these more. As soon as you place a different block type, it forgets. There you go. How does that look? That's actually pretty good, I reckon. Are you going to do survival, says Sir John, John is. Possibly. Depends on uh, how it's going to look. I think it would be a lot more fun to play survival. Also, hello to Littlest Enderman. Hello to It's Fozzy as well. Welcome on by to the stream once again. Let's rotate that block up. Right, so we're just... Bam, 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 all of these. There's a tiny bit of delay in between each block that you place, I've noticed. It takes a second for that thing to reappear, like the, the ghostly image of it. Okay, let's put you... Mm, it's not going to go there. Can't even see it now. Is that right? Oh, there we go. That happened to be right. Excellent. Right, so that's our little staircase to lead us up into this area. I guess what we should do then is... Oh, we can't actually... Can that fit, like, right in the middle there? It can. Fascinating. Okay, and then we are going to pull out some of the tubes. 
put some going up like that. Then they can go... Actually, if I put them like that, they're going to look weird, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. Never mind. It sort of looked like there were only two of them on that side for a second. Uh, let's go... Oh, we've already got it. Why couldn't I see that? Alright, so coming into this territory of the room, we're going to have a lot more of these. Fox says, I have tiny lag spikes because I'm playing the classic City Skylines. That's one of the favourite series that I did. I want to play that game again. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. By the way, we shouldn't have this room terribly square, should we? That would have been a mistake. So, over on this side, there just happens to be a little bit that sort of goes off a bit further. Right? That's a good way to keep it fresh. We also come very close to this bit. Just something to keep an eye on. Um, let's run these. Let's run these here. I want to go up and then this time put one of these on it. Oh, over the edge. <laughs> X, do you contact the music writers before you put their music in a stream? Yes, Chef Lightning, I have uh, permission. Not always exclusively from the person, but as long as you've got a, uh, a decent Creative Commons license, then you're good to go. And Crinkles has one of those, so I didn't need to contact them. Uh, so there you go. Okay, so this is going to go across this wall. And I think it will end on this wall as well. Yeah, we'll make it go down here. The tubes are great for decorating your base. It's funny, like they have no purpose, but we, we definitely want some tubes floating in and around our base. No question about it. That's some wonky tube placing right there. It's not good. Bam, right, they just disappear down into the ground. So that's how that wall's going to look a little bit. Then up here we're going to have like the office, so it'll be at this height, that means there's going to be um, some blocks. Wow, we just got projected backwards, there are going to be some blocks going across this space. I reckon what we should go for is some more orangey stuff. Um, how about that? And also the shorter one. Let's see if we can squeeze that in. So, one, two, shorter one, and then a gap. I'm sure I like that. Hmm. Or maybe we go for shorter one, put a block there. Shorter one, put a block there. <laughs> Bit tedious. Shorter one, put a block there and a block. I'm not sure if I like that either, to be fair. Yeah, it definitely looks odd. So we got an awkward number to work with. Full set Zas says, Hey Asuma, reply to this on your stream. I'm sorry, I can't reply. I'm not going to do that. Not possible. Let's, uh, I'm joking. Let's go <laughs> try it on this side then. So, does that really make any difference? No, we end up with a gap of two. We could put a two beam in the middle or a two split bit. That might actually solve the problem. Yep, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. That's fine. I'm not fussed. X, you should make a train station up the stairs. No, the train station's already been, like, sorted out on the opposite side of the other room. This is going to be, like, the manager's office. This is going to be my little place of uh, residence. Where I do all my paperwork and manage the, the factory. Or whatever it is we do here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's looking good. But that's just going to be what's in front of the floor. The floor... I really want a different material to build with here, but but nothing, uh, really. Ventilation grid wouldn't work. Something on its side here might... We could use the, the top texture of the tubes, you know, like... How bad are they? So little panels, like that. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Panels for, for an office of seems all right so let's say we start off with a strip of metal that goes like this there's a strip around the edge 
Why wouldn't there be? Oh yeah, we've got to sort that bit out as well, actually. Oh, I'm stuck outside. You should make different kind of bases and then connect them with the monorail thing. Bacon Boss, that's the long-term plan. To hook it all up together with that stuff, so... You're spot on there. Can we rotate that, or... Uh, that's not going to give us a big enough gap, is it? So on this side, we'll just ignore what we did over there. We'll pretend it doesn't exist. Um, right, so the... Uh, the walls of this office, or the floor, come out here. Yeah, look, we've got a little bit of a gap for a, for a wall on the side. Okay, and uh, then we just got to put these boxes in. Oh, there you go. This might actually be easy. Hey, do you know what would be really cool? Okay, right, so as I'm placing them, I'm thinking, hey, we could we could make this a little bit more interesting. Yeah, oh my god, why why the movement? Uh, that's a little bit bland, isn't it? That's, that's alright, yeah, you've got your panels, but what if we were to offset them from one another? Um, so we put one like that, and then the next one like this, and always put them off by one. Am I making sense? I'll make sense in a moment. I'll make sense when I feel like it. Jump! There we go. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing what I'm on about? That is a really cool floor design. Have I... No, I haven't done the next bit wrong. It's just going to be like that. Come on, down. Cross down, over, <laughs> Ugh. and one up here. Wait, where is that actually going to go? Ah, on there, on the side of that one. Bam, that's where it would go. And then the next one's there. Okay, so you've seen that bit. Now we've got to put a material in. I'm going to go with concrete, actually, on the inside here. And then we can fill in the gaps. How cool does that look? Yep, I like that. Might take a while to build compared to just, you know, filling it all up with a, a little thing, but it's worth it, I reckon. And I think we should probably just do a tiny bit more here, get it extended all the way down. Um, to the stairs at least, right? Because we want to use them stairs. Did I do that wrong? Looks like I might have. <laughs> so who likes this, the floor? Zen says, wow, cool floor, but too much grey. You could be right. For now, I think we'll stick with the grey. We'll have other, we'll other colours in the room to contrast it. But you are quite possibly right there. That it might be a bit much. Ah, now all of a sudden it's a bit tricky to place. Hmm. Maybe we need to pop down here and place them. There we go. It's because you need to place it off the side of the one before. Because of the height of it. Now when they made the game, I bet... <laughs> when they added this block, they didn't think someone would be doing this. Oh no. Why would you do that? That's crazy. Okay, there we go. That's going to cover the uh, the opening a bit nice and easy. So this actually becomes quite easy to build. Oh, unless I'm messing it up right now. I've got a feeling I'm messing it up. Yes, I started messing it up. Well spotted me, well spotted. Chat will get it in a minute. <laughs> Space Dragon says I'm going to go sleep now. Enjoy your sleep. Thanks for coming by and watching. Right, we're going to fill in the gaps up top and then I'm going to be done with this room for today, I think. We've uh, we've done a fair bit of the, the foundation of it. We can continue doing a bit more on each stream, but I know a lot of you are probably... Ah, uh, fell down. Probably excited for the monorail project. Come on, hop up. Oh, it's really hard to move around when you're close to blocks for some reason. 
Miss Alou says you placed it wrong. Ah, but did you say that after I said it or not? I got a feeling it was after. Bam, there we go. It's a pretty cool floor pattern, isn't it? And that's probably about as big as the room's going to be deep there, so it won't get too much bigger. And yeah, that's a nice start to our uh, to our office space, isn't it? You can see it takes a while to build in this, though. It does take a little bit of time. You need Basically, to speed it up, you need to be able to fly. You need to be able to instantly remove some blocks, but then it's good. It's getting there. Okay, so now we want to go work on this old thing, right? I had a really good idea earlier. Let's get rid of some of the um, other bits and bobs we've had left lying around. So I had a really good idea for how we can... Uh, oh, wait, what did I just do there? Take some of this to the next level, right? I'm just trying to remember what the idea was now. <laughs> I remember, I remember. Okay, so... There's a height here that we can take advantage of. If we have a little something at the bottom here, like a bearing, that flips out to the side, we could activate a sensor that's been lined up underneath it. So then we can tell it to turn. We can actually set that up extremely quickly, I think. If we go park this over here. So we could actually set it up for... Do you know what? The logic of this is going to drive me mad. Let's just get something that works for us. Okay, push us, push us, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> push us back a little bit. Uh, we're still going to have to line ourselves up on this because those springs are going to get in the way. We need a way to make that work a little bit more in our favour, I think. Like when turning, retract the springs or something along those lines. Okay, so let's get out the materials that we need. Tatu says, can you make a helicopter? I'd like to know if it's possible. You can make you can make a helicopter or something that looks like one, like with the uh, the blades at the top, but I think you need thrusters to go up. And we've got a noise in here, so let's go check that. We've got a donation here from Littlest Enderman saying, because tradition, also because your streams and the people in them always make me smile. Smiling is good. I hope you're having a good smile right now. If not, turn that frown around, <laughs> is what they say. Uh, thank you so much for the donation, Little List Enderman. Hope you're having a, a good time as always. Um, by the way, I got a few donations from when I wasn't streaming yesterday as well. So if any of you are watching, thank you for that. And it seems like some people have been donating from abroad with foreign currencies like ca Canadian and Australian dollars. And they don't go through on PayPal. You have to confirm them. So that's why... Um, some donations haven't turned up in recent streams, so I apologise to those of you that have been doing that, but you've been um, refunded as well, uh, with the exception of the last two people who donated, actually. Oh, apparently my donation bar is broken, it's just showing the amount. Interesting. I don't know why it would do that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if Nobby Descothlos or... Baker the Hacker are here, but thank you for your donations from yesterday, and uh, you have to donate in British Pounds, otherwise PayPal won't accept it. So, all of those previous ones, with the exception of the ones yesterday, have been automatically refunded. Okay, uh, right, let's get back on track. <laughs> Distractions, too many of them, too easy to get distracted, you know me. Right, we're going to attach uh, a bearing on either side, because we're going to add two options. We want to steer left, or we want to steer right. Okay, and these are going to be two blocks high. Now, I'm going to say this. Every single time <laughs> we go... Oh my god, I've already thought of a problem with this. Yeah, yeah. Every time we go to do something, it feels simple. Then you realise, wait a minute, this isn't simple. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to encounter that for sure. Okay, I'm glad that decided to fall down because that's actually going to be helpful for us. Um, so over here, what we'll do... And we might run into some problems here, actually. I don't think it's going to clip with it. No, because it'll be tucked away. So, we can sense that's there. And we don't want to sense a player if there's one wandering around underneath. I reckon we're going to need to refine our design so much when we play this game. Like, I reckon we're going to be constantly refining. Because already, what we've got right here is very hack and slash. But, we'll figure it out later on. Oh my god, we're at that weird height where everything is just awkward to place. <laughs> Right, now we want to jump and put one there. Bam. No, and one above. 
Uh, I don't even know what it's connected to. Let's go with the lift. Lift is good. Need to use the lift more often. Bam, there we go. Assume a void, build a catapult for your next project. Uh, not terribly interested in the catapult, but I'll keep it in mind. Right, so the next one, I think, is here. And then we bring this out again. Like that. Yep, that looks about right. Definitely is. Okay, so now if we want to turn... Yeah, I can see this is going to go wrong immediately, right? If we want to turn to the left... Then we use the sensor. But the sensor needs to be hooked up to some sort of T-flip-flop. Right, it's already doing it. Oh god, it's going to flip it off the track, isn't it? It actually might flip it off the track. Seems to be holding out for, for now. Okay, let's... <laughs> uh, let's attach... Oh my god, let's attach some buttons. And then hook them up. Okay. Oh god, and we need controllers. I have not thought this through. Please stay on the tracks. How did I get that wrong? <laughs> How did I get that wrong again? How? Oh, that's so mean. How did I get that wrong? I turned it off. I removed it. I said, okay, we won't. And it turned anyway. Oh, it must have been on by... Uh, I can never get anything right in this game. Can I? To be fair, I think it's the nature of the game a little bit to... Uh, oh, to be... To be a bit tough like this because it's so... You know, one block at a time replacing stuff. Like this. We've already fixed this once today. How many times will we fix this again? Probably, probably won't, but... I'm just moaning now. So we'll bring that back, and we'll go pick up our monstrous rail machine over here. It really is monstrous, isn't it? And try and load it back up. Right, we just got to line it up correctly. There we go. Before we go too far, let's finish doing this thing. Right, so we need some controllers and buttons. Okay, we're going to have a controller there, controller there, and we'll put the buttons like either side of them. These are going to control the pivots. They both need to flip to the outside, so we'll go green 90, and the buttons are going to control them. No, green 180 actually. Okay, so they flip to the outside, they, they activate the things below them. Now, that one isn't connected to there. And then what we need is for that to connect to that one. And to connect to that. So two is left, three is right. Uh, is this at the right height? I think it is. Let's just... Yeah, like that. And we've loaded it again. I love that, that machine is cool. Right, now I just got a massive lag spike. I think the lag spike is due to disappear once we're off that track. Because it's calculating a lot. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, we press that. And we can go on to the next bit of track. Why not put a sensor on the track with a delay? So when you're on the turning part, you don't have to press a button. Good idea, but how do we add a delay? I mean, delay circuits... Um, I mean, I can think of a way immediately, actually, but... You you just use a slow-turning thing, didn't you? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I got one in my inventory. One of those. Just turn something slow and you create a delay. Alright, so off we go. <laughs> right, and the track there is actually pointing the same way. 
Hmm. Yep, we are still able to get through. Okay, and then on to the next bit we go. Do you know what I reckon I reckon if you were to go look up trains and turntables, like someone's already solved these problems in the real world. You could learn from them. Okay, now once again, this is gonna mess up us turning, I know it. They're way too close. Every single time we try and turn, it all goes wrong. So that's the one that we need to switch. It's not connected to anything now. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. This breaks our entire experiment, right? Leave us that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, I haven't thought this through enough. Okay, so what one was the uh, the bottom one connected to? In fact, we don't know what either of them were connected to. Oh, no, 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 they're connected to controllers. Right, so that one would be this one over here. And that would instantly turn it back the way we came. Right, and then as soon as I take it off, it turns it the wrong way because of the way it's set up. Put the rotation in the controller further to the right, it would cause a delay. Uh, Jedi, that's what I was saying a moment ago, use the controller, but yeah, you turn it to the left though. Uh, right is fast, left is slow. Oh look, we've been spun all the way around. I think this I think this whole thing needs to redesign, this bit right here especially. Wheels on circular rail is how it works real live. So circular rails, someone is suggesting. We could use pipes for that. Or connect your seat to the switch, so you'll be able to press one on your keyboard and then it will activate. That's literally what we just set up. That's why I attached those things down the bottom. Let's actually have a look at those. Um, the idea was to press two to give a, give off a signal. There you go, look, then you give it a signal. Freed as the one on the opposite side. So now what we need to do is not only create... I mean, this thing is turned around the wrong way. That's not a good start. If I need to suss out... Whoa, 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 whoa. We still need a system for stopping us on this turntable. I have no idea how to do that. There we go. Right, let's park it there. Man, lag. Look at me fall. So slow. <laughs> it's definitely when it has to calculate wobbling things, basically. Can you rotate the chairs? Yes, you can. You can put the chairs on uh, on bearings and rotate them that way. All right, so that thing is... I don't know if it's off or on, but let's disconnect both of these for now. And that to that. Right, and it doesn't turn. Fascinating. Okay. Okay, so it's on its default position. What I'm going to do is rotate one of these 180 just so we can flip it around. Just attach the stopper to the moving part of the turntable. Yeah, that kind of works, but you want to go off the tracks forward. Good suggestion, but you want to leave the tracks from the front. You want to drive in, turn, and leave the same way. Um... Unless you were to always reverse in, like you re always reverse into it and then it turns you and then you go off in the right direction. I mean, that's all part of like the bigger picture there, so that's definitely a valid idea. Okay, um, so right, the, the problem we're facing now is when we send a signal down here to this sensor, uh, as soon as it starts to turn, it will disconnect the signal. Now that's good for two things. Automatic disconnection, so you don't have to remember to turn it back up, but you will do later. Uh, but how do we create a T-flip-flop now is basically the next step. What's the simplest sort of T-flip-flop we can create? And this thing is driving me mad at the moment because it's so damn laggy. And I think, I, I think we've already messed around with the simplest one on a live stream which was to try and push a block between two positions. So what else do we have access to that could potentially be a T flip-flop? Uh, maybe, maybe a double pivot allows us to... No, no, no. So a T flip-flop is a basic case. Right, I need to visualize a little bit here. Uh, let's, let's build a frame. 
so we can see what we're trying to do. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as this. A T flip flop. Ugh. Is going. Oh, we, the, here's the other thing. We need. We need two inputs for one as well, right? Because the input can come from multiple places. May or may not be necessary. But we're going to have a block that we need to um, push to the other side. So that needs to go over there each time we get an input. Back and forth. Because then one of these is on, one of them is off. You know, you drive in, um, it rotates the track round to the side. And then you can drive off and come back and they're in the same position. Then you can flip it back with your T-flip flop. Gore Whisper, welcome back, buddy. Uh, we're playing a bit of scrap mechanic. We're doing some brainstorming. You can use two AND gates. Possibly Blue Dragon Hatch. Let's think about that. Um, no, no, I don't think you can use two hand gates because you have to create a state. There's like a piece of memory involved, right? It's not just logic gates, you have memory as well. You need something to stay stationary and be remembered. That's our block in the middle. You could use a piston to switch between two tracks. I'm not quite sure what you mean, B man. Um, what we could use is a piston to push the T flip flop block, but this, this right here is just a bit big. Looking for something simpler, you know? You get an input, it pushes over, it comes back. I think I think it definitely needs to be a little bit simpler. Your sensors have to turn with the table. Uh no, because when we Right, if if the sensors turn with the table, when we when we remove the connection to drive off, we lose the signal. So no, we still need a T flip flop. Got to think it through. Got to think it through the whole way. Which is something I struggle with when I pick an idea. Uh, Takalu says XOR gate to manipulate a block to a sensor. I don't know how to create an XOR gate. Um, hmm. Let's say for a start oh, we could move this back and forth. How do we wire up one input again to two... Can we hook it up to multiple controllers? I forget. Right, we can. So we can we can get both sides to move. If we could get both sides to push, they would push at the same time because of this. But if we get them to push and put that in a new position, then it works in theory. All good champs, is anybody still understanding? Well, I don't mind if you're not. It's complicated stuff. Like... You've got to think about each little action and what's going to happen, you know. So the problem is we drive over here, we put our signal in front of, we put our thing in front of that, and then as soon as it disconnects, it's going to start moving us back because of the nature of the way this works. So when we make that connection, it needs to be permanent. Therefore, we need to have a T flip flop. That's going to push the block from one position to another. So it's going to go from there to there. Next time it gets the signal, it goes from there to there. The thing is, I don't know how to make that happen. Posse says I created a T flip flop on Reddit yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go look. Uh, scrap mechanic Reddit. I guess it's uh, quite possible there's a community there about to evolve. Uh, apparently, typing in Reddit doesn't help you find it. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll go to Reddit and search scrap mechanic. How about that? Let's go to reddit.com. Nikopi says I don't get the problem. Um, let me explain it again. If you're going to drive in and send it the signal, like we've got this little thing to put in front of the sensor so it knows we're there. As soon as it starts moving us around, we're going to move away from the sensor. The sensor's not going to be powered, so it's going to move the turntable back. So we need to create like a basically a piece of memory, something that we say, hey, we just got a signal, now you're in this position. And then next time we get a signal, it moves to the other bit. Um, and that will be extremely useful. So scrap mechanic key is a uh, interesting, is a subreddit. So what we got here, fully automatic crane and conveyor belt. I think I have a way to make a two-way switch. Not sure if uh, that's what we're looking for. Build a gun, battle tank. Uh, 
Okay, I don't see a T flip flop yet. Let's let's search flip flop in the uh, in the search bar. Flip, flippity floppity. Useful logic gates. T flip flop. R S Norlatch. Oh, it's made by Posse999. Uh, make it rain, you deleted your own link for the looks of it. <laughs> That's a bit odd. Apparently these are going to be very big, which is fine, because things start off big. Uh, that is a lot of stuff. That is a lot, a lot of things. <laughs> it's got to be simpler than that. Fascinating. I like the way you're using uh, using the controllers onto the bearings. That's that's a clever way of compacting. Oh, that's really clever, actually. There's an RS null latch here as well. I'm not sure if I'd need that. I just kind of forget how RS null latches work. Let's try and rebuild some of these. Okay, so let me show you guys what um, Posse has come up with. This is really cool, actually. Uh, this would be our testing area if it was bigger, so... I'm going to come up here and extend the uh, platform a little bit. There we go. That looks like a flip-flop sized platform. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have our, our little system. By the way, Posse, did you see uh, my video for the basic setup? Because what you've come up with is uh, like using some of this. Well, I guess... I guess actually it probably doesn't matter because if ever you were going to figure it out, like, there's probably not too many other ways than using a similar, like, form to what I did. Okay. Oh, it looks like the bearing is then attached onto the next one as well. Fascinating. Huh. I, uh. I don't know what to say about this. It's interesting. Well, e either way. This would then control that, and it's just a little bit more compact, right? Because it controls itself rather than what we did over here where it controls the block. Oh, which we can barely see. <laughs> uh, and we'll get stuck in this hole again. So down here, what we could have done is use these controllers as the bit that go in front of the sensor, basically. That would have been uh, a cool thing to do. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Crusid said, what are we doing? We're trying to do a T flip-flop at the moment, but we're not having much luck. So, anyway, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I, I really, I'm really slow with logic and stuff like that. I really do have to think about it a lot and make it make sense in my head. It's not one of those things I just jump at. Uh, but it looks like there's two bearings in a row, which is interesting. Could be some sort of knot gate there. Or, sorry, and or... Not and, I can't remember. So I don't know what's going on here. RS Norlatch. Press one button to turn it on and another to turn it off. The main component of a T flip flop. Right. I think I've got an idea of what's going on here. So, right. There are, there are two of these and one thing in the middle. I think the thing in the middle is actually... What blocks off the sensor? Uh, wait a minute. The sensor is active. Oh, it would be anyway. It just blinked. Okay. Um, let's put our other sensor down. They're all part of the same construct. Then we have a block to the side so that we can place our bearing. Put in a controller. And another bearing. And another controller. Okay, so I think the idea is, if this first one here, let's remember our numbers, wasn't it 66? If this first one here is set to 66, and a bit further, then the one next to it is lifted as well. Wow! Wrong direction. Easily solvable. Give it a little flip. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> also, that looks way too high. 
Not and, it's called a NAND. That's correct, Endercraft. That is correct. So one button to turn it on and another to turn it off. I'm not sure why there's two sensors here. Let's, let's create some buttons because we're... Oh, that's another point. We're not using a switch, we're using a button. Different type of input. So it's only going to power it temporary. Oh, now I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Basically. Uh, unless the sensor is linked back. Oh, wait a minute. What if the sensor is linked back to something here? Like, if we temporarily push that down enough to go in front of the sensor... Uh, like that to that. That's weird. <laughs> uh, that that one controls that, by the way. There we go. If that goes down in front of the sensor, the sensor then could do something to manipulate this one, like turn it back even further. That's a bit of a weird concept, though. I don't think that's really that helpful. Right, so you need to connect to that. And that's connected to that. So when this receives uh, input, it goes down by... Yeah, let's, let's not mess around with the exacts. Let's just go 15. And that will cause this to activate, which means this one will... Hey, what one are we looking at now? This one will then go back by 15. Right? <laughs> Weird little thing we're making here. Oh. Oh, wait. Have I got to hold it down? Right. Uh, the initial rotation is not 66. It's got to be something else. Let's bring it back to 45. Okay, what about that? So press the button. No. <laughs> 45 is not enough. Let's try 30. Yeah, except the second one went the wrong direction then. Or did it? How did it go further down if it's going backwards? <laughs> uh, did it... what? How does that work? Oh wait, no, no, it is going backwards because it was already up a little bit. Right, now it's off. Will that ever be useful? I've made a machine that does that. It turns... Okay, no, it is, because it turns a single... It, it turns a constant pulse. Oh, wow, look, we've made a pulse generator. That's what we've made. How about that? Pulse generator. Sweet. I like that. <laughs> we actually made something. And some of you are going, yeah, yeah, sure you did. No, we did. We did. We made a pulse generator. Alright, it's a totally valid thing. I accidentally made a pulse generator. That's fun. Uh, right, that one controls the one on this side. And then this should also control this over here. So we've got a bit of an example. <laughs> you can make you know, the world's most useless contraption as well. Just in case you wanted to. Uh, no bearings connected. Let's say we go 30 that way and it starts 15 like this. I don't know if that's even going to look remotely interesting. Let's turn on our pulse generator. That's right. Waggle that stick. <laughs> How cool is that? That's cool. I like it. I wonder if there's... Uh, any use here for a T flip flop though? Like, if we worked with bigger rotations, if there was a way that each time you got an input, it would always manage to rotate to swap between the two. So, let's look at this vertically. I think that might be a little bit easier to work with. Um, if we were to rotate, like, our controller box. Right, let's rotate that first of all in front of it. Remember, it controls itself. Let's put itself in the default position. Which will be 90. Bam. Except it's the wrong way. Go the other way. Goles says, but why would you need two? Uh, I think you possibly onto something there. 
No, you do need two, because you can't have two inputs controlling one controller, that's why. <laughs> it may also be possible to make the pulse length different by changing this. So if we went to just 13... Oh, sorry, not 13. Oh, look. An always-on pulse generator. No, let's go to 45. And then we make the angle of this 30. It might be the same speed, because it's all about speed, not rotation distance. Yeah, it's about... It's the same speed, then. So if you want to change the speed, you change the speed of the controllers. Squishy me now, thank you for the nice message. <laughs> Memo Bite says, "Waggle that stick, hype." Yeah, look, we made we made waggling. We've managed to make a sword waggle, or equivalent of. There you go, sword waggle. Actually, let's make that a proper sword. <laughs> uh, let's put the things at the side. Not there. There you go, things at the side. Thing goes up. Is there anything pointy in this game? Because I'm making a sword. <laughs> I don't see anything particularly pointy. We could put two of those side by side, and then it would sort of be like a wide sword with a uh, a bit of a pointy bit. Let's do just that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright, pointy bit of sword. No. That's not how rotating works. <laughs> Amazing. Sweet, we've officially made a sword waggle. Hey! Sword waggle. <laughs> we did it, we did it. The rubber duck is pointy, says Loop. Sort of, it's also a rubber duck. It'd be a, a rubber duck waggle. <laughs> So yeah, what I was wondering with this is, uh, this is going to let's let's work with. I need it to be no no no. This is always going to be awkward, right? Let's have that power that. I d I don't I can't create any form of like coherent set of thoughts to follow in my head. If that makes it even makes any sense. Oh, I've made a clock again. <laughs> Oh, I've just made another clock. No. No, you will not power that one there. Anyway, we need an input, so... Oh, I really don't know. I really got no idea at all what I'm doing. But we made a sword waggle. I mean, isn't that just brilliant? Yay! Sword waggle and scrap mechanic. We've got a new new subscriber here. NL... NL... <laughs> I'm going to say NL48 because I can't say the middle word. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. Here is your sword waggle. Do appreciate the support. Sword waggle and scrap mechanic, that's for you. <laughs> and I hope you're having a good time watching today's stream. Did I just break it? Because I could have swore I turned that off. There we go, no more sword waggling. Subhype over for now. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Super General Kraz says no coherent thoughts. That makes a lot of sense. Have it every day. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is, I'm goofing around here, hoping to make something, whereas I really can't... I, I don't really like do too well with the logic of logic gates in my head, so... I mean, if I run it over to myself again, we've got... we need to push one or the other. So each time, each time this thing receives an input, it needs to do two things, and it needs to do them in a different order. Now that might be possible by rotating these round in a funny direction and having this thing, you know, sort of activate one halfway up so it holds it in position. And the next time you get an input, oh, you rotate them into the other one and that doesn't work. But I can't just visualise that. It might be possible, but I can't visualise it. So it's not really that clever, is it? Put the sensor on a bearing. Interesting idea, B-Man. Interesting idea. Why not? Why not put the sensor on a bearing? Now, it's going to rotate itself in a circle at first, so it has to either be on something that's already got a bearing attached to it, or quite simply uh, like this. Uh, actually, we can simplify that and put it facing upwards. 
like so. So now that can rotate that sensor as well. Let's put down a controller and have it go the other way. There we are. Um... Will we be using the single pulse buttons? Mini, mini finger. It's possible. Uh, what would be nice, nice if we could turn a like an input into a stable out, like a stable pulse, wouldn't it? Like each, actually, that's what this person's created an RS Norlatch, I think, to some extent. You press an input button and an output button. Uh, but I don't, I don't think I'm having too much luck with this today. It's been fun. We built the Star Wars door over here, so that's a good thing. Goes uh, side to side like that. And it goes into our new office area, which we'll be working on. But, Minifinger says, do you like my name? I like your name, it's cool. Um, but, as for doing this logic gate stuff, my head's not really in it right now. Never really is. Occasionally I get lucky and I make uh, a pulse generator. Well, hey. <laughs> Alright then, um, let's have a look. Let's go see if Cube Hamster is streaming, because I'm going to wrap things up here. So don't go anywhere if you want to be part of the raid. A lot of people yesterday were asking, what's the raid? What's that? What is a raid? And I can answer that for you. Uh, Cube Hamster isn't live. Let's go check the Hermitcraft group. It's all going to take me a moment. Bam. Let's also switch over the end screen. Okay, let's go to Hermitcraft group. And false is raid, uh, not raiding, streaming. So we're going to go and raid full symmetry. So don't go anywhere. Go over uh, our hoster channel. Say X raid in chat. And I'll see you over there. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.